Good morning. Um, I wanted to show you the difference in saving a file that um, has a large canvas size versus one that does not, and what happens if you save it as a smaller canvas. Um, so we're just going to go in here and choose the 5 by 7 and we want to make sure we fit what, we're, what we are adding on there onto our canvas. So we're going to save this as May 17th small file. So the canvas here, we only chose a five by seven. So now what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna show you when we change it to a 24 by 24. Um, oops, that, there we go. Um, see how small this um, text gets now? So you know when you blow this up, it's going to be pixelized. Um, so also, instead of taking this and dragging it this way, which actually plays a huge difference, we're going to take this and just up the size this way. And this is probably going to be huge. Like 300. There we go. And we're just going to save this as... May 17th large. Okay, now this works um, the same for both Google Forge and Cricut Design Space app. Um, I am going to show you the comparison here and how different it looks. So we're first going to open up the, I don't think we can open up, no, we can't open up two at the same time. We're going to open up the small one. The large one. I'm not sure if it has to load up there first or not, but we'll see. There we go. Alright, there's a small one. And you can see it's processing and it's taking a lot longer because it's so large. See, so it automatically uploads as a larger file um, automatically, which is really cool. And you know that this down here is going to be higher quality because it was made in a higher resolution. So <clears throat> if we change this, we're going to change both of them to engrave. And we're going to upscale this small file. And you may not be able to see in here too much, but the difference is just crazy. Okay, so that's about the same size. So if we zoom in here, we can actually see the ridges on here on the smaller file. So just because these two look identical, they're not. This one is absolutely absolutely going to be lower quality. And when you cut it, and I don't care if you're cutting it on the Cricut, I don't care if you're cutting it on the Glowforge or your X-Tool or whatever, um, whatever method you are using to either engrave or cut or whatever, it's going to be pixelated. So we always want to save our image as a higher resolution, um, like 100% of the time. I can actually show you this on um, Cricut Design Space as well, just to show you how different it is. Um, let's see, we're just going to take an image that I made recently. So we're going to save this as Cricut example, and this is saving it as the bigger file. And it's, you can see it's not even that big um, of an image. And we're going to get rid of it and also save to that smaller 5 by 7 And see, it didn't even shrink that far this way at all, but the quality Is definitely going to be different. Okay, save as um, great example small. Now we're going to go over to Cricut Design Space and open it. I guess I used this last time. Get rid of that. We're going to say we're going to make a new canvas. 
Oh, looks like Cricut has to update. Okay, that's never a good sign. We know when Cricut updates, it usually doesn't work as well as we want it to. <laughs> All right, let me pause this video so it can update quick. Okay, that all updated, so we're good to go on that. So we're going to go ahead and click New Project. And we're going to upload our image. And we're first going to choose that smaller <clears throat> file. And we're going to choose a print and cut over here if it wants to load. For some reason, it doesn't want to load. Why is that? I think I saved it as an SVG. <coughs> oh, that's the problem. I saved it as an SVG. Okay. Back up. Um, all right. Hang on. We're going to save this as a PNG. There we go. Okay. Click it. It's going to say small. Okay. And then we're going to change our. See how tiny that gets? And then we're going to move our picture over here. Make this just a tad bigger. And we're going to say. Large. Okay, and PNG. There we go. And now we are going to upload it onto Cricut Design Space. Choose the small one first. <clears throat> and we're not going to worry about getting rid of the back room or anything, just because this is for an example. And then we're going to go ahead and upload the larger one. Okay, so now we have both of our image uploaded images uploaded into our files on Cricut Design Space. You can grab them both, I believe, at the same time and add to Canvas. And you're going to see in, almost immediately um, how different they are. Um, so you can tell this one's obviously the smaller one and this one's the bigger one. So if we make this smaller one bigger, Look how pixelized it looks right around here, around the edges, and even on this outline. So that's how it's going to print. It's going to lower the quality immensely, and it's just not going to look good at all. Now where is our larger one? Now our larger one, if we make that one bigger, I thought the other one was turned aside. There we go. You can zoom in. And this one is also pixelized, but not nearly as bad as this other one over here. Let's try to compare the two here. Okay, so you can see this one is a lot more pixelized. You can see, especially right on this red line right here, compared to this red line, it's a lot more pixelized. The hairline right here, I'm just picking out some examples. So. Um, we definitely want to make sure that we're uploading the highest quality items in our Glowforge and Cricut Design Space every single time we upload so we can make sure we have high quality products that we are giving to our customers.